Okay, I'm back. Here we go. We're going to start with boron. So you see I have written B, which is the symbol for boron, atomic number, group, and period. So get out your, atom your periodic table of elements. What is the atomic number of boron? What is it? Yes, it is a five. Five is the atomic number of boron. How about the um, group number of boron? What group is boron in? What is it? Look it up. Yep, it's 13. Good job. What about the period? What period is boron in? Yes, it's in period two. Okay, let's back up for a second. Let's think. The atomic number, what does that tell you? Yes, it is the number of protons. We're going to assume that this is an electrically neutral atom. So that means it has the same number of protons as it has electrons. Yes, it's neutral. So it's not an ion. What does the group number tell you? What? Oh, no, yep. Yeah. No, what? 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 I can't hear you. Oh, there it is. I heard somebody say it. It tells you that the three tells you that there are three valence electrons, meaning there are three electrons in the very last shell or orbital of the boron electron cloud. What does the period number tell you? Waiting? Wait for it? Wait for it? Yes! Great! It tells you how many orbitals or shells there are total in the electron cloud for boron. All right, so here's where we have to remember the letters. You're gonna have level one, and you're gonna have level two, and that's all you're gonna have. Why? Because it's in period two. So you're gonna have two levels. So you just write one, two, one right after under the other one. Okay, the letters were S, what? P, yes, what was the next one? Yes, D, and the next one was F, wonderful, S, P, D, F. So I'm gonna say one S, all right, now on, go back and look at your notes. How many electrons can level S hold? Yes, it was a two, so you write the two up there like any uh, exponent. Level one is finished. Level two, now this is weird. You're gonna think, why do I have to write it that way? Because this is what's correct and you have to learn to write it correctly. Level two has sublevel S, which can hold two electrons. Then you're still in sublevel two, so you have to put a large two there. But now you're in sublevel S, what was the next letter? P, okay. And let me ask you a question. Let's, before we put anything here, Let's go back up and look at the group. It can only have two levels because it's in period two. We have two levels. It's going to have three valence electrons because it's in group 13. You got it. So we've got that three right there. So this number right here is going to be added to whatever number we put here, and that has to equal three. Okay, so two plus what is three? Two plus one is three. So what I always like to do when I'm doing this, especially when I get to the bigger ones, is I like to come out here to the side and just kind of add these up as I go. So on level one, I have a grand total of two electrons. On level two, I have a grand total of three electrons. And I'm finished. So when I add those up, I get five. Did that match my atomic number? Oh, wow. Yes, it did. We did a great job. Look at us go. Okay, so to be honest, this is almost harder to understand on a small element like boron. So I'm going to pause, erase my board, and I'll be back, and we're going to do a larger one. Hey, hold, hold, please. 